Hi everybody, it's Laura here. We're hiding in my mudroom today because my entire house is overrun with remote learning students and homeschooled students. Uh, Dorothy and Aston, their school didn't have enough staff members left to run the school anymore and Israel's always homeschooled and he just had an emotional breakdown because he finally, finally understands about Northern southern, eastern, and western hemispheres, and he just needs a minute to decompress from all of that. That was, that was a lot. That was two days we spent on that, and uh, that's why Israel's not making today's recipe. Normally, he makes this for us, and he likes to make it, but I'm just letting him kind of lay on the floor and stare at the ceiling a little after hemispheres. So, I am, I'm going to take over Israel's chore. Israel is, is usually our, our kitchen chemist, I guess we'll call it that. He, he mixes up our, our little cleaning products and stuff because he loves pouring and, and you know, he's, he's a kid. Isn't that fun? Just pouring stuff. Uh, today we are making a little, a little pot of dishwasher detergent. Now, full disclosure, I don't think this dishwasher detergent is any sort of miracle that is any better than any dishwasher detergent that you're going to buy at the store. Why I made this dishwasher detergent was because I had the ingredients here at my house and I did not have dishwasher detergent. I had this huge box of pods. I'd never tried pods before. And I thought it was like Mary Poppins's bag. It felt like every time I grabbed in there, I could pull out a pod. And I said, wow, there's really just no end to this, is there? And then one day I reached in and the box was empty and I said, I can't go out there and buy dishwasher detergent because A, Aston was sick in bed and I felt like, you know, I'm not a great mom. I'm just me. That's what they get. But, but even I feel like maybe I shouldn't abandon my sick children, you know, to go out shopping. So I, I, I said, hey, you know what I've got in the house? And you probably have it too. I have borax in the house because we make that powder detergent out of borax and you bought that borax. Remember when you were gonna make the powder detergent and maybe you never really got around to it. So you have the borax sitting on your shelf or you're in your cupboard or in your pantry or under your kitchen sink. It's somewhere in the house. Go grab it. And baking soda. Not the washing soda that we use in the laundry detergent, but actual baking soda. And salt. As the three ingredients that are going in our jar today. Now, ratio. We are putting in one cup of borax. Have you ever seen? This is going to be backwards for you. But you get the idea. This is what this is what you're looking for at the grocery store. I know at our local grocery store, I thought that they didn't carry it for the longest time. And then I realized it's just way up high on a shelf. And like, because I'm lazy, I didn't want to crane my neck up and look at the top shelf. But that's where they keep it. Um, obviously, you can order it online if you want to. And then you don't have to look anywhere but right in front of your face. So today our borax, we're using one cup, oops, of our borax. Oh gosh, sorry. Now you're gonna look at my muttered ceiling. I just knocked you over. Wow, and my boobs. There we go. Are we, are we straight? We're straight, good. Borax is heavy, shakes the table. Actually, I'm using a folding table right now that I've set up. This is, I'm in Aston's little mudroom classroom because he didn't want to be near the other children. So he is off decompressing from math. Um, and I took over his room because Dorothy is having an orchestra lesson in the living room. And like, is there anything worse than children learning string instruments? It's like, kill me now. Someday I'm sure it will be beautiful, but at the beginning, Lord. She is mercifully playing the bass, so it's not as screechy as when the other kids were learning the violin, but I'm still not. 
not in love with the process of instrument learning. Okay, so we have one cup of borax in our cup. That took me a while because I don't have my funnel. Get a funnel. Get a funnel. Don't be like me. Get a funnel. One cup of baking powder, just regular old baking powder. I get a big box because I bake a lot and because we use baking powder for all sorts of other things. But maybe you have one of those tiny little boxes. It's the same stuff. Ooh. Oh, some just blew in my mouth. Yuck. Okay. And there's that. Now, half a cup of salt. I was reading somewhere that salt, like, you know, kills germs. So, oh, my sister is just sending me a message asking if anybody's doing a video. She's going to be surprised. Um... There we go. I have exactly one half cup of salt. Yay. Okay, now I've put this in a trusty jar that had spaghetti sauce in it once upon a time. Shake it up. Now, if you have a bigger container, obviously you can make tons of this stuff. You really don't want to leave the house. Um, or if you're into just making your own stuff because you like making your own stuff. Um, you know, I don't know about the, the chemical makeup of automatic dishwasher detergent. So I can't say if this is better or worse. You know, I, I don't know. But like I said, for me, there's two reasons I would make it. One, I don't want to leave the house. Or two, when I do leave the house, stores are so often out of things that I have to come up with an alternative Anyway, now hand washing is an option, but two, I have, or two, two reasons I don't. I have sensory integration dysfunction. And I hate putting my hands in the water. I'll do it, but I hate it. And two, with Aston sick in the house and, you know, lots of people are going to be sick these days, cold and flu season and that other virus you may have heard of. Um, the dishwasher has a sanitizing option, which I feel like, again, not a, a scientist not even smart, but I feel like in my old housewifey way, like having a machine actually sanitize the uh, dishes is probably better than hand washing. Are we sanitizing when we hand wash? I really don't know. Um, so that's the reasons why I like to use my dishwasher. Um, and maybe you like your dishwasher too. So give this a try, but I'm going to warn you. You know that little spot in your dishwasher? It's got a little turny knob and you have to pour, um, what's it called? A, a rinse something, rinsey stuff in it. It has a name. Usually it's a couple brands that are popular. Um, white vinegar is your friend at this point. You want to put some white vinegar in to your little, your little wet, um, rinser agent port. Okay. You're going to put that in. Oh, Jesus. Okay. You're going to put, it's, it's time to wrap it up. Right, kids? Um, so two tablespoons of this in your dishwasher and then just fill up your little rinsey thing with vinegar. And that's that. I don't know, man. I got to get a new cameraman that's not a stock pot for next time. All right, look, up. I got to go. Have fun. Bye.